is up y'all Willie Beeman here bringing you my 2k17 wish list this is gonna cover all kinds of different topics over seven different videos so if you want to click on the screen right now you can check out any of my other videos or you can click on the complete 2k17 playlist to check them out all in order anyway let's get the thing started all right in today's video I'm gonna talk about my court and blacktop um, so my court is the my career game mode where you're just chilling in your my court and then blacktop's kind of the uh, the my court or my park uh, style gameplay that you can play kind of by yourself and uh, just kind of want to cover these two and uh, I got uh, seven different kind of things I want to go over and it's this is a, a really fun I think you you guys definitely need to check out this whole video because I got a lot of really cool ideas um, and I think there's a lot of potential with these um, but first off we need complete customization of our my court. Um, we need to be able to do it just like our pro am court, where we can, you know, write on the court. We can put our own designs on the court, put our own designs on the wall, design the backboards. I mean, there is so much potential there for my court. And I realize, um, you know, this is kind of the first year they've done my court. Um, it's it's been a really cool way to learn moves and practice your shots and things like that. Um, but that would be really cool to be able to customize it a lot better. Um, so that brings me to number two. Um, number two, three, and kind of four are the same. Uh, so number two, we need to be able to to, uh, to practice shots with someone feeding us the ball. Um, I know in the practice game mode you can do that. If you go to that game mode, there'll be like two guys underneath the goal. Um, so as you throw up shots, um, you can press X and have them pass you the ball back again. So you can just like knock down shot after shot after shot. Um, and that would be really cool if you could just kind of like, uh, you know, spawn those guys in or turn that turn that kind of mode on. Or even just have it there all the time to where they just kind of rebound the ball for whoever's in your my court. <clears throat> um, and then the, the number number three is going to be the ability to practice free throws on your my court. Um, you should be able to kind of like walk over to the, the free throw line, you know, press, you know, a, a, a button or something like that and be able to just kind of practice your free throws. Um, that would be really cool for trying out free throws or even just kind of, you know, before you go to a Pro-Am game, being able to practice free throws. Um, I know with my, my center, I have a 55 free throw, so I have to hit green lights to make my free throws. It'd be nice for me to be able to practice my free throws before going into the Pro-Am, just so I know I'm going to be able to knock those down, you know, really consistently. <clears throat> so that would, that would be nice. Um, then number four, um, would it'd be cool if they you could kind of create more of like a respawn point on your court, um, to where you could practice, um, you know, your layup packages and things like that, um, and not have to, you know, go do your layup, grab the ball, run all the way back, you know, do your layup. Um, that would just be that. That would be a cool addition to the my court um, to just be able to practice some things, um, even just dribble moves coming coming up the court and things like that. <clears throat> um, so that, that would that would be really nice um, then number five um, this is gonna kind of start really the big changes and the cool changes they can make and that's uh, to combine blacktop with my court um, so you, you know you have the blacktop game mode I think that should stay um, in the game but you should create basically an alternate blacktop version in the my court um, so if I'm chilling in my my court, you know, say I'm I'm waiting on some players or something like that, maybe I want to play a one-on-one -on -one game against uh, you know a computer player. I want to play, you know, some two v twos with computers, or even just uh, you know if two of us are chilling on my my court and we're waiting on a couple other guys, maybe we can jump in a two v two game against two computers and we can just kind of work on some things. Um, that would be really nice, um, and you could just expand it even further to where you could go 5v5 and have your five, you know, pro -am guys, you know, we're running plays and things like that and practicing in the my court. Um, that, that would, that would just expand on the, the potential, <clears throat> the potential that my court has. Um, and it would just allow us to be able to work on plays and sets that we have to basically work on while we're playing pro -am games now. <coughs> And uh, number six kind of um, expands on this. <clears throat> um, I think we should have the ability to create plays and sets, or even just kind of set playbooks to where um, we can use those as users. Um, so I know that there was a Madden game back in the day. I can't even remember which Madden it was. It was it was like back on maybe PlayStation One or PlayStation Two, um, and you could actually go in and 
custom create an entire play, you know, where the guys were at. You could create the formation, you could create the plays. Um, that would be really cool if they would add that addition to the my career situation. Um, and then this expands on my previous video on pro -Am where you could pick a person to call sets. Um, maybe you could have like a, you know, for your my team or for your pro-am team, you know, have your guys and be able to teach them the plays, you know, in this, this blacktop kind of game mode fairly quickly. And then you could run really customized plays in pro-am fairly easily. Um, and that's with practice and everything. I, I know right now, um, I've actually played a bunch of pro-am games where we've actually ran plays and things like that. Um, but it's a, it's a lot harder because we have to just kind of talk about what we're going to do instead of actually having the play, you know, set up with the, the markers and things like you have in my career where you can turn on the play art um, and have everybody have their customized play art to where they, they see where, what they're supposed to do on every play. Um, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, but the, the that would that would probably be for more of the the over the top pro am teams and things like that. I know that, um, but that would be really cool to even just play around with, um, just to kind of see, you know, what kind of crazy plays you could come up with. I think that would that would increase the the fun of the pro am too, because you could you would probably play against people that have created their own plays. You could see, you know, what other people are doing to to win games. Um, so I think that would be a super cool addition and just really add a lot of depth to the My Court and Blacktop uh, style gameplay and even, you know, flow into My Part, you know, 3v3 play or even 2v2 play. You could design plays for, you know, all kinds of situations. So I think that would be, that would be really interesting. <clears throat> um, so moving on to number seven, um, this is going to be my crazy over the top 2k17 Probably 2K18 or 19 wish list type of thing, but I think they need to create like a new arcade style game mode. I know that they're going to the sim basketball feel, but there's a ton of people that you know since they took out speed boosting that don't want to play 2K16, and that's because it doesn't feel like a, a, a video game anymore. Um, and I think this is where you know my court slash blacktop situation could really come in handy, and you could get maybe a more like a not really an NBA Jam style game mode, but maybe even just like a game mode that's more like, you know, old school 2K15 Park, where it's a lot more like flashy, um, a lot more alley-oops and posterizers and things like that. And you could even create like a ladder system um, to where maybe you and a buddy could, you know, go through a, a ladder system, kind of like either like a, you know, a Mortal Kombat tournament or even like old school, um, there used to be a game called NBA Showtime on Nintendo 64 where you would go through a ladder system and beat, you know, harder and harder opponents and things like that. Um, it, it would just, it would breathe a little bit, like, more life into the game and allow us to play, like, a just a fun, carefree game mode um, that Park is supposed to be, uh, but kind of, kind of, I know that they're gearing it more towards a simulation style basketball, so I think it would really fit the niche that they're kind of trying to cut out of the game at this point. Um, and I think that would be a really cool spot for them to put that in. <clears throat> so kind of like an example that I had written down was like, maybe you go in the 1v1 like ladder system and your first game is against like Reggie Jackson. And you go through and you play a bunch of people and you know MJ, you know Michael Jordan is probably you know like the top guy at the very top. And you know even like Reggie Jackson might start on like a rookie difficulty level and you know as you progress through the difficulty level the person kind of increases as well. Um, so that, that would be kind of neat, uh, and that's just kind of a really over-the-top um, kind of idea for me. And you could even create maybe like a Super Smash Brothers feel, where you could set up like um, certain sliders and things like that, where maybe it's like, like super speed or super jumping, or maybe like there's no goaltending, you get that old school, you know, snatch the ball out of the air type of feel. Um, just to kind of add just some, some craziness to the game. Um, it's a basketball game, and it'd be really cool if they would throw in some old school, you know, arcade style basketball into the game just to, to make, you know, give people, you know, a fun thing to do. And you could even maybe, maybe make it where this like arcade style deal, you, you and a buddy could join your my court and you could go online and play some crazy like arcade style deal against, you know, other people. Um, kind of like the, the pro-aim is set up now or even, even have like a, a crazy arcade, <coughs> arcade park style deal. Um, but that's kind of down the line. I think it'd be really cool just to even just be able to do it against computers at this point. 
Um, but anyway, this is this is just uh, you know my crazy ideas. I think my court has a ton of potential, and I've really used it a lot to learn moves and things like that. But it'd be really cool to be able to expand on the amount of like things you can do in the my court to be able to hone your game, and become you know really great at NBA 2K. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. Um, comment below with any of your ideas, and uh, I know this can get like way crazy because I had I had just ins insane ideas for my court in Blacktop. Um, but if you haven't hit that sub button, hit that sub button below for any for a ton more 2K content. And uh, this is Willie Beeman, and I'm out. Thanks.